Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Mass today. It is Friday, August 28th. Today, we celebrate the Feast of St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. In the midst of the Church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. Holy wisdom, lamp of learning, bless the light that reason lends. Teach us judgment as we kindle sparks of thought your spirit sends. Sanctify our search for knowledge and the truth that sets us free. Come illumine mind and spirit, join in deepest unity. And good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. <clears throat> we'll mention today we celebrate the great feast of St. Augustine. So let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O oh Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your bishop, St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole font of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the learning of the learned I will set aside. Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made the wisdom of the world foolish? For since the wisdom of God, the world did not come to know God through wisdom. It was the will of God through the foolishness of the proclamation to save those who have faith. For Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, Jews and Greeks alike, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth, the earth is, is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. 
Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, and with the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord and the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The Lord brings to naught the plans of nations. He foils the designs of peoples. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design in his heart through all generations. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord who is good. The love of the Lord knows no ending. All in Israel say, God's love has no end. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Jesus told his disciples his parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was being was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out and to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. Well, they went out to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know not neither know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday and today we have the example of two people who uh, took that gospel very seriously and knew that they had to prepare for the coming of the Lord and be prepared for it. Yesterday we knew the story of St. Monica, whose uh, son was Augustine, and he was living a kind of a wild life without God or any kind of faith in, in his heart or in his, his life, I think maybe in his heart, but not in his life. And she prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed for him to be ready. And he was, he had wonderful, wonderful um, story uh, of conversion. And that's the city of God, if you ever want to read a very inspiring story. And his tribute to his mother for never giving up on him. And he became uh, not only a Catholic Christian, but he became uh, a bishop. And not only a bishop, but a great writer, a great theologian. He's still considered, along with Thomas Aquinas, one of the two greatest theologians our church has ever produced. And uh, <clears throat> Thomas Aquinas himself used to quote Augustine uh, many times in his theologia, Truma Theologica of Thomas Aquinas, the summary of theology. But there, there is a line in Augustine's uh, City of God that uh, everybody quotes and so wonderful. And he simply said, if you, if you listen to this, our hearts are restless. Our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. Our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. In other words, Augustine had a, 
a unique insight into human nature that in spite of sometimes the, the, the decisions we all make as, as people, deep down inside, the only thing that ever will um, satisfy us, fulfill us, complete us <clears throat> is God. Our hearts are restless until they rest in thee in God. Now Bishop Barron, Robert Barron, Bishop Robert Barron, uh, has a wonderful contemporary way of describing what St. Augustine said. He said, uh, we are hot-wired for God. We are hot-wired for God. In other words, it's just a part of us, a part of us searching for God. <clears throat> you may think, well, we're living in a pretty atheistic civilization, but there's still a search for God or a God. <clears throat> Maybe it's being satisfied these days in other ways. <clears throat> Maybe it's drugs or alcohol. Maybe it's sex. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's prestige. Maybe it's all the things that we seem to make our gods these days. But even though that is true, deep down inside, if they never satisfy. No matter how many we have or how much we have or how good they are, they don't ultimately satisfy because our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. And they are, we are hot for God to use Bishop Barron's phrase. And so I think maybe if we continue to meditate upon that great truth, we can see, I mean, we have, a, we have more, more money, more affluence, more better life than any, probably any civilization that ever occupied the face of the earth. And yet there's a restlessness. There's still a high suicide rate, a high drug rate. Why? Why is this? Why is this the case? It should be making us very happy because we live in such affluence. But it's not. It's not. It's not that it can't make us some happiness, but uh, ultimately it, it falls flat. Because, as Augustine said so many centuries ago, our hearts are restless until they rest in Thee. Stand up for our petitions this morning. <clears throat> the great message of our Holy Father is the same thing, <clears throat> asking the world to turn back to God, turn back to the church, turn back to the gospel, gospel living, for full, complete fulfillment, not only for ourselves, but to <clears throat> be able to help one another in our journey of, of faith. We pray to the Lord for him. We pray to the Lord. Lord <clears throat> and we pray for the Bishop of our diocese, Bishop Ben Vera. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our society and our world. <clears throat> let us pray, and maybe keep praying for this, that we have this terrible pandemic. You are here. You know that the only way to satisfy the inner longings of our heart is to come here, receive the body of Christ, and be a part of the church and live out that faith. Let's just pray that the more of the world will understand that. And maybe now that uh, we have so much taken away from us with the, uh, 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 the pandemic, we we'll come to realize that these things are good, but they don't ultimately satisfy. And only God can do that. We pray to the Lord. And we continue to pray, unfortunately and sadly, for those who will die today in the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear <clears throat> we Pray for life. <clears throat> that is such, it is such a, a political issue, but it shouldn't be. Life is a gift from God, and there's no other way to describe it. And we as humans have no right to be taken away in abortion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pause for our own intentions. <clears throat> we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let us pray to Mary, who um, <clears throat> didn't always understand some of the challenges given to her, but she knew that only God could make it right and good. So let's continue to pray for for that kind of faith in our own lives. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Beloved Saint Faustina, we come to you today. God chose you to inspire and teach us how to pray. The blood and water flowing out from his holy sign, 
make us trust in his mercy, his mercy so divine. <clears throat> and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, which become for us the bread of life. Lord, forever. <clears throat> by the mystery of this water and wine. <clears throat> May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine <clears throat> and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual name. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> And Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> and now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good <clears throat> and all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and <clears throat> just. It is truly <clears throat> right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for as on the festival of saint augustine you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. <clears throat> and therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you are, that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And this morning we remember Rita Vizkowski and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. <clears throat> that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Faustina, St. Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and <clears throat> glorify you <clears throat> for your Son, Jesus Christ. But through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. <clears throat> and now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all the stress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, <clears throat> the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer to each other a sign of Christ. Peace. 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 And peace to everyone who is viewing at home. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world grant us, grant us peace. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. <clears throat> and may the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Thus says the Lord, you have but one teacher, the Christ, and you are all brothers and sisters. 
Restless is the heart until it comes to rest in you. All the earth, all the earth shall remember and return to our God. Restless is the heart until it comes to rest in you. All the earth, all the earth shall remember and return to our God. <clears throat> and now for our brothers and sisters who are praying with us together at home, let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And our prayer to St. Michael, <clears throat> St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Let us pray. May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that having made, that being members of his body, we may become what we have received. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> and I continue to remind those who are watching at home and all of you to spread the word that every Sunday afternoon, beginning at noon, until 12.30, we'll be out in the courtyard with the body of Christ for any who wish to receive the Eucharist during these times. In the meantime, stay well, stay safe, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Father. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Thank you everyone for joining us for Mass this morning. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon for the Vigil Mass for the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, 4 p.m. In the meantime, uh, stay safe. Have a great day. God bless.